Good day, viewers. My name is Patricia Davis. I am a pastor of St. Albans Community Church, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God based in St. Albans in the United Kingdom. It is my honor to present to you today the Open Heavens Reflection based on the Open Heaven Daily Guide written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic of today's reflection is is Jesus in your boat? Is Jesus in your boat? The Bible passage is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 to 27, and from the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verses 3 to 5. Now, when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him, and suddenly a great tempest arose in the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. So the men marveled, saying, Who can this be, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Psalm 37, verse 3 to 5. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So my brothers and sisters, let, let us reflect on today's message. Naturally in life, we go through journeys. Some are dangerous and some are less risky. We travel, in particular when we travel in the air. If nothing happens, we have no escape route. However simple or complex our journey might be through life, the most terrible thing would be to travel alone without Jesus. It is as if we are driving without insurance. Jesus is our certain insurance against every single risk in our lives. In the passage we read today, the disciples were traveling and a storm came. Then God, that Jesus, that was in the boat with them, if Jesus had not been in the boat, their lives would, not, would have been in total jeopardy. Also, in the case of marriage to the, in the Canaan, of Galilee. We thank God that they also invited Mary and Jesus with her. If they had depended on their own understanding, it would have been disastrous for them. So please stop depending on your own wisdom and ability. Let Jesus be with you in the journey and you are sure to be safe and secured. Let us share the key point from today's message. Any faith you exercise that is full of hope and great expectation may put Jesus at the back burner is presumption and not faith. Thank you and God bless.